Hey, it's Sharon. It's the Thanksgiving workout challenge, kick sugar to the curb. We're going to torch our lower body today. Optional, have one weight, ankle weights, or nothing at all. Have a mat or a soft surface to work out on. Let's get started. Thank you for coming to work out with me today. Welcome back to my community fitness enthusiast. And if you're here for the first time, welcome also. We're gonna torch our lower body today. We torched the upper body the other day. You don't need any weights or water bottles, but if you have them, go ahead and grab them. I grabbed just a couple weights. If you have ankle weights, it's optional. You could put them on. I did not bring mine today. If you're gonna do ankle weights, I would say lower. So definitely um, nothing too heavy. We're gonna do a little warm up. We're gonna I'll talk to you as we do our warm up. So let's go back and forth, swing those arms. You wanna warm up before you work out and cool down with stretches at the end. We're into our second week of the Thanksgiving workout challenge, kick sugar to the curb. I hope you all are having fun with that. Make sure you write below what is the sugar that you're willing to give up three weeks before Thanksgiving. Let's bring those arms back. I'm giving up wine during the week. I usually like to have a glass or two. I am having it on Saturday, and that was the purpose of this. If you wanted to kick sugar totally to the curb, you could. If anything, you're just reducing your sugar. So if you didn't actually join the challenge, you can still just try to reduce your sugar for the next three weeks. All right, we're gonna bring our legs up and over. We're gonna do 16 exercises today for 40 seconds each. Two, the first two sets will be on the mat and then we'll be standing up. So just a little bit about what our workout is today. And there's no repeats other than we're gonna do one side of our body and then do the other. Let's stand back, we're gonna reach. Reach forward. So you wanna move, get the blood flow going to your muscles. And thank you for subscribing to the challenge. We are hoping to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. And if you haven't subscribed, then hit that red button and join our community of fitness enthusiasts. Let's do some arm circles, squat a little bit, and go the other way. Make sure you have water handy also. All right, we're gonna start on the mat. If you have ankle weights, go ahead and put them on. And we don't need any weights for this round. Okay, all we're gonna do is be on the ground, and I will always show you modifications and proper form. That's what this channel's about. I want everybody to feel like they can do these workouts. Your hands are gonna be here. We're gonna press up to a pipe and come down to a squat. We're gonna do that for 40 seconds. If this is not for you, you can just go here and not push yourself all the way up. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Press up on those toes, come back down. So we are engaging those calf muscles too. Press up, when you come up, make sure that those hands are underneath your shoulders. Push. So you're gonna find a nice stretch up the back of your leg. Keep going, push up and down. Feel that nice stretch, see how high you can go. Press those glutes in the air. Press, even hold, and come on down. Press and hold. We're almost there, and come on down, great. All right, we are gonna be on the mat. All right, we're gonna be here. What we're gonna do is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm already confused. Let's go on the, our back. So we're gonna, you're gonna have an ankle weight on if you want. We're gonna come here, we're gonna press out and come in. Press out and in with one side, and then we'll go to the other. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So you're gonna keep your glutes up the whole time. Press out and in. Now, if you have an ankle weight on, you're definitely going to feel this. Keep going, press. Keep, try to keep those glutes up nice and high. If you need a break at any time, come down and then press up. Keep going, feeling that right here in your glutes. Keep going, everyone. We're almost there, and one more. All right, shake those legs out. We're going to the other side, glutes up, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Press out and in. Really retract out, stretch that, come back in. So we'll even slow it down a little bit. You all know how much I like going slow. So you can really feel your muscles working. Press out and in. Now pay attention to that core. Make sure it's nice and strong. 
We've got this. Keep going. Squeeze those glutes, we're almost there. And one more, great. All right, let's shake that out. We're gonna do, actually we're gonna stay on our back on this one, we're gonna do scissors. So I want your hands by your side. What you're gonna do is have your legs up in the air. We're gonna scissor it right here. We're not gonna move from this spot. So I want your core nice and strong and your legs are going back and forth. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So again, we're not going quick, even take a pause at each spot. Now, if you have those ankle weights on, you're probably feeling this a lot. If you want, you could even go right here at any time. So bend your knees a little bit. I couldn't find my lighter ones today, so that's why I'm not wearing uh, my ankle weights. Um, five pound weights on each leg would probably be pretty heavy on this one. So if you're doing it and you're doing it fine, you've got that core strength, you've got that leg strength, so keep going. We're almost there. And one more, great. All right, we're gonna stay on the mat. Let's take a quick drink of water. All right, we are going to be on our hands and knees. What we're gonna do is one side and the other. Our leg's gonna be out, we're gonna swing it and bring it back. So we're gonna isolate it. What you wanna try not to do is tilt yourself when you're doing it. So I wanna keep my hands and underneath my um, shoulders. I wanna keep my back nice and flat and I wanna rotate my leg out. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. And again, at any time you can bend your knee, you're still gonna get the same result. You're just gonna bend your knee a little bit. So again, try not to twist my body, holding it nice and steady. going. Press that leg out. You're going to feel that nice rotation in your hip too. So it's going to feel like a little stretching here. All good. We're well, working those legs and those glutes. We're almost there. And one more. All right. We're going to switch to the other side. Get in position again. Make sure that those arms are underneath your shoulders. Okie dokie. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Oh, that feels good. So you might find that one side is easier than the other. Controlling that leg, try not to swing it too much. So most of the time your gaze should be at the mat, keeping that head in alignment. We're gonna look at each other occasionally. Keep going. Press it out. So feeling that isolation on your glute and feeling that in your leg. We're almost there. And one more, great. All right, so this one we're gonna be on our side. If this is not for you, I'd like you to go back to those bridges and you can do your legs um, out and in. We're gonna be out our side, and what we're gonna do is have our leg bent. We're gonna kick it out and bring it in. Again, if you have an ankle weight on, it is gonna feel a little heavy. All right, so everybody come on up. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So press out and in. The key to this exercise is to have a nice straight body here. So I wouldn't want my legs out here, I don't want my body out here. Keeping those shoulders back, trying to isolate that leg. Feel your core. It's definitely triggered here. You can put your hand down if you like. Give yourself a little bit more balance. You need to move my leg back. And just hold on to it. Nice slow movements here. So you're feeling this on the back of your leg, right? Also your back of your leg, your lower leg too, your calf muscle. We're almost there. And one more. All right, switch it over. My legs are tired already. How about you guys? All right, so she got ankle weights on. It's a lot of resistance. All right, everybody's up. Put your hand down if you like. Bring that leg up, bend it in. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. And again, if you find yourself starting to fall over, bring back your shoulders. Put your hand on the ground. So I'm finding this side, I'm definitely feeling it more on my bottom leg than I did on the other side. 
try to do without holding. So always try variations of an exercise. So if you think you have to hold on, that's great. Do one without. Keep building up your strength. Keep going, press it. Oh, we're almost there. And one more. All right, we are done with both of our sets on the mat. Come on up and let's get a drink of water. So for the next two exercises, you can use a weight, a water bottle, any other household item, but you don't need any of that to do this exercise because we're really just concentrating on our lower body. The weight will just add a little bit of resistance for you in the exercise. So I'm gonna grab a weight, bring it over. All we're gonna do, actually I'm gonna go a little heavier on this one. And again, use any weight. It's just a little out of resistance. All we're gonna do is a lunge back and we're gonna hold it and then press up to a calf raise. So what we're gonna do is lunge back, hold that weight, hold the stance for a second, come up, go up on that toe. So we're gonna come down, hold, and come all the way up. You're gonna feel that. Now, if you don't wanna go all the way down in that lunge, then just come down a little bit and come up. Again, everybody has different abilities, different ailments, so do what's right for you. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So down, hold about a 90 degree angle in your legs, come up, press up on that foot. Come down and hold it, come back up. Holding that is just really squeezing that muscle. Come up, keep those shoulders back so you're going straight down and coming straight up. I'm gonna come towards you a little bit. Down, hold, come up. Engage that calf muscle. Standing up nice and tall, almost there. Come down, hold, and come on up. Great. Okay, shake out those legs, because I don't know about you, that was definitely a good one. Oh, shake them out. All right, so switch that weight if you have it, or that water bottle, we're gonna go into the other leg. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Let's come, come down, all the way down, hold that, and come on up. You can use your arm as balancing. So your core is firing here, helping you stay in this position. Come down, make sure your feet are facing the same way also. Hold it. Come on up, come down. I feel myself wiggling a little bit. Come up and come down and hold. Come up, come down and hold, we're almost there and all the way up, great. Okay, all right, for this one we're gonna do um, one leg at a time, and I'm actually gonna go to a lower weight on this one. We're gonna do a bend, we're gonna bend over, so if you don't wanna, if you're not using a weight, you can hold onto a wall or a chair. There's no problem with that at all. If you are using a weight and you don't, you still wanna hold on, you could just have the weight in one hand. What we're gonna do is come down, you're gonna have a slight bend in that standing knee. We're gonna be here, try to come up, and lift that knee up. At times you might have to take a step on the ground. That is absolutely fine. So you're concentrating on those lower abs and your lower body. All right, stand up straight, shoulders back, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Again, a nice little bend in that standing knee, um, the, one, the leg that you're standing on. Come up slowly, you can touch here and bring that knee up, or don't touch at all. Come down, hold, and come up. So you should be about 90 degrees with your back and your lower half of your body. Come on up and hold. Down. Again, you can touch, bring that knee up. And again, drop the weight if it becomes too much for you, no problem. We're almost there. Come up and hold, great. All right, stamp those feet out. We're gonna to go to the other side. Let me come this way. All right, again, hold the weight or no weight. It doesn't matter. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So down, bring that knee up. See if you could do a little bit of a seamless move here. Again, at times you might have to put that foot down. And I'm gonna to turn towards you guys. All right, we can do this. Legs are definitely torched, right? Keep going. As you can see, I'm getting a little wiggly. That's okay. I'm trying to find that balance. 
Come on up, we're almost there. And there we go, almost fell over, okay. We're, I'm gonna hold on, actually I think I'm gonna go a little heavier on this one. All right, our last round. We're gonna do sumo squats, so we're gonna bring our legs really far out and your feet are gonna be rotated in, but I want your legs as far as you can get them. Again, you don't have to go that far out if you don't want to. We are gonna come down, we're just holding this weight. We're gonna come up on our toes and bring the weight up. So you can come down and go up on your toes. Don't go up on your toes if you don't want to. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So down, come up, raise those heels. Come down, shoulders back, so you're just slightly bent over. We go this way. So down, hold, driving those glutes backwards, come up on those toes. Down and hold, squeeze, press up. Nice slow movement. Down, press up. Come on up, hold that. We're almost there. Hold and come on up, great. All right, so we're gonna do a side lunge and we're gonna stay that way. Hold the weight here in your hands. Again, no weight is fine. We're gonna come down to the side and we're just gonna switch back and forth. We are not gonna go very fast. The weight is just added resistance. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So down, hold, switch to the other side. Coming down as low as you, if you're here, that's fine too. Come down as low as you can go. And again, this is just about slow movement, feeling that in your muscles. So if you're looking at the ground route right now, I'd like you to bring your gaze up towards me. It will put less pressure on that back. I'm personally not a big fan of bending over and pulling on that back too much, especially as we get older. Hold that side and let's go to the other side. Perfect. All right, the next exercise, which is our last one, will be one on one side and the other. What we're gonna do, I wanna make sure I'm away from my weights. You're gonna come down to a curtsy, then we're gonna come out and do a squat. So we're gonna curtsy and then that squat. Now, you can hold the weight if you like. I'm gonna go a little bit lower on this one. You can hold it or not at all. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So curtsy, come back to that squat. Go as low as you want to go. Down and hold. Hold that. Squeeze and lots of holds today, right? I want to know, did you feel the difference doing more of these holds and feeling those muscles tax? Let me know in the description below the video, just or leave a comment, sorry, below the video. Hold it, come on back. Come down, hold, we're almost there. Come on out, great, all right. Oh, let's take our time here for a second. We're coming to the end. All right, we're going the other way. I'm just thinking, I'm stalling, can you tell? <laughs> all right, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Down and squat and hold. Remember, always go at your own pace. Whether you're watching my workouts or not, you should always find what works for you. My request is always to try 1% more than you did the last time. Hold that. And hold, squeeze. Come on down, hold that. Feel that in your legs and in your glutes. We're almost there. Home stretch, come on down. And great, all right, let's put our weights to the side and we're all gonna take a quick drink of water and then we're gonna stretch. Stretching is so important at the end of your workout. We did a lot with our lower body, so I don't want you to ever not stretch your, um, your muscles at the end of a workout. You need to do that. It will help prevent the onset of soreness, hopefully. All right, so grab onto that wall or chair if you like. Grab your ankle, we're gonna stretch out that quad. <sighs> now, if you feel sore next day or the next day, that's okay. You should never feel pain though. All right, and switch those legs <sighs> and take a nice deep breath. 
We're gonna lean to the side. I want you to stretch that inner thigh muscle and just relax a little bit. Just feel yourself calming down. Know you brought your A game today, whatever that is. Some days you might not wake up feeling the best but and you don't wanna work out, but you do. That means you brought yourself to the party. You did it. So that's all I want you to remember. When those days you just feel like you can't get out of bed and you don't wanna do it, just come out and work with us. All right, everybody lean down, bend your knees a little bit, let yourself relax, come on up. All right, let's take a nice deep breath up and come on down. Thank you so very much for working out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you didn't know, I have a 30 day free, 30 day fitness plan. It's got recipes, it's got workouts on it. See below the video in the description go to my website and you'll see all the information about it. It is a great thing to give to someone or yourself getting ready for the holidays. And thank you again for subscribing to the channel. Hit that red button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when more videos are posted. Remember, it's our Thanksgiving challenge, kick sugar to the curb. If you're participating in that, make sure you get me your results by Sunday night or Monday morning. I also have a calendar because we're only into week two. Also see that on my website. It will show you all the workouts for the rest of this month, including a 10 minute workout Monday through Friday, the week before Thanksgiving. And I will see you on our next workout.